In this video, we are going actually to, do, to talk about the task creation of the simplest task. We continue to use the following headers of free artos and timers and added the task header for the free artos. Our task is very similar to the function that we used before, so it's f uh, it have a loop of uh, five repetition where he we print a statement with the time of execution and have a one second delay but the difference is that at the end of the task we have a vtask delay function vtask delete function which is clears the memory after task execution actually this uh, kind of uh, representation is not usual of re regarding the task uh, performance usually tasks are infinite and we have some kind of uh, while infinite loop to perform them but for simplicity we do only five repetitions our main remains very similar to the previous one we have a beginning statement and the final statement where in the middle we are creating the task instead of uh, initiating a function X, X task create creates a task which have a pointer of the V task one function. It initiate these tasks. It have a name of this task, a better name that we can choose. We, we allocated 2K of memory for the task. Uh, it is very important to allocate enough memory for the task because if the memory size will be less than enough, the program will crash. So we're using 2K of memory, at least in my experience. Uh, less than that, uh, you should be very careful. Another field enables us to send a parameter to a task, but, but here we will send null, and we don't have any parameters to the task. This field is very important. It's talking. It's talking about the priority. In which priority those tasks will be performed. We'll talk about it later, in the greater detail. But one is the lowest priority, and the five is the great greatest priority. And the last field is so-called handler, the pointer to the task. Right now, we don't uh, uh, initiate those tasks from different locations, so we don't use a pointer. We put null in this f in this uh, field. So this is just create a simplest task. And after it, it uh, print out the program completion. Please point out the, I will run it, that here we have print task print. And let's see in which sequence the program actually will be executed. Uh, which is uh, very important uh, for the task uh, concept. Uh. Let's see. The program is started, and after a five milliseconds, it actually ended. Then the task task execution begins, and uh, it's in sequence with one second between. We have five lines printed out. What actually is happened here that the main went parallel to the task and by paralleling performing this task uh, this task was initiated. Uh, in the future we will talk how we can um, uh, define the sequence in which sequence which task will be performed but here the main was performed before the task. And this is, is this is the beginning of differences of the parallel execution of the task that we're starting to see regarding to the functions that we used in the previous video. In the next video, we'll talk about two tasks in this main and see in which sequence they can be performed. Thank you.